Well, I think the first thing is that, you know, right now a lot of parental response is based around surveillance, keeping an eye on your kids, snooping over their, over their shoulders. And I think instead we want parents to learn to watch their back. We want parents to be informed about uh, the environment their child is confronting, to be able to respond to the challenges and issues that the young person faces, and be willing to express their own values, but not be closed-minded about the new possibilities, to look and ask questions before they judge, to engage in dialogue with a young person about what's valuable in that community. I think about all the parents who've sat through really badly off-key performances of John Philip Sousa's music, through the years, not because they liked listening to off-key music, but because the band was central to their kid and very important to them. Those same parents ought to be willing to watch those kids play video games and understand the sense of accomplishment the kid gets from playing that game. They ought to be willing to sit down and learn what a social network site is and not decide MySpace is bad because they saw something on Fox TV, but instead to engage with uh, the kid to talk about what's going on there and what's, what they get out of it. Maybe have the kid design a web uh, a social network page for the parent and the, in the process learn how the kid articulates their values and their friendship ties online. So down the line, these new practices open up new opportunities for con connection and conversation between parents and children. Uh, but to do that, you've got to get past the language of fear and recognize the opportunities that are represented by this new technology.